one of history's most triumphant moments. It was 45 years ago tonight that Apollo 11 Commander Neil Armstrong became the first human to walk on the moon, to be followed about 20 minutes later by lunar module pilot Buzz Aldrin. All as 600 million people worldwide watch those grainy live pictures. NBC's Ron Mott helps us relive the excitement. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. When first Neil Armstrong, then Buzz Aldrin, stepped out for a Sunday stroll on July 20th, 1969. Beautiful view. Magnificent desolation. The world watched their every move, hung on every word, with wonderment. The scene that I immediately saw was the brightness of the gray dust with the shadows because the sun was at a low angle behind us. And the horizon was so clear. Visibility was perfect because there's no air up there. Up there, on the moon, 238,000 miles from more familiar terrain. The Apollo 11 mission was groundbreaking on so many fronts. It was arguably the most technological event in the 20th century. Jay Barbree covered space for NBC News for more than a half century. When they accomplished the walk on the moon. They jumped 50 years ahead in technology. You wouldn't have the cell phones and all that you hold in your hands today had they not gone to the moon. NASA marked the anniversary this weekend in New York. You've been on the moon? Yes, sir. What's the next big frontier? Mars. With sights fixed on making another giant leap. Going to Mars, sending deep space probes, searching for life in the universe um, has really enabled us to blend technology and creativity and innovation. That combination fuels dreamers like 11-year-old Evan, awestruck by Apollo's long-ago moon landing. It's very cool because no one knew what it was like up there until they went and they got to be the first to see it. A first with everlasting impact, planting seeds of discovery still growing. Ron Mott, NBC News, New York. That's NBC Nightly News for the